Now, we all know lightsabers are two things, insanely cool and ridiculously expensive, but they don't have to be. Today, I'm going to show you five ways to make a lightsaber for under $100, starting with a $10 lightsaber and working our way up to the $60 one. So to build our $10 lightsaber, we're going to go on Amazon and buy a flashlight that's about one inch wide and very bright. Here's one for only seven-ish dollars. And we'll buy a blade off of Ultra Sabers for only three dollars. And since we're officially out of money, I'll just tape these together. And there you have it, a $10 lightsaber. But if we want to change the color to something other than white, we can pick up some color filters like these for about $5. Use the flashlight head as a template to draw some circles, cut out the circles a little smaller than we drew them, and place one on top of the flashlight. Now, one of them might not be enough, so make sure to check the color and add another one or two if you want before attaching the blade. This is pretty good for $15, but the colors are still kind of washed out and not very bright. And for some reason, every flashlight these days has to have a regular mode, a dim mode, and a strobe mode, so you have to triple click to turn this thing off. So let's move on to the $35 saber. One of the things that makes lightsabers look cheap is when they're a lot dimmer at the tip than they are at the hilt. To fix this, we need a strip of LEDs like this to go all the way down the blade. And we'll need about two meters because we'll get a meter long blade and we want the LEDs to go on both sides of the blade. Of course, we need to provide power to the LEDs, so let's pick up a small round USB power bank. This one here has a button on the side, which I like, so we can make a hole in the hilt to press that. And for the blade, we'll pick up a full length blade from Ultra Sabers, which will run us five more dollars. Now, this could be either 36 or 32 inches, and it could be either clear or white polycarbonate. I find the clear ones don't look very good. I feel like you can see the LEDs a little bit more with the clear than with the white. So you may want to spend the extra $3 and select Ultra Edge, which is what they call the white polycarbonate. Last but not least, we need a hilt. The cheapest option is to go and pick up some PVC from your local hardware store, like Lowe's or Home Depot, for about $5, and then you can shape and paint it however you want, depending on what tools you have. The assembly is super simple. First, you want to peel the cover off of the LED's double-sided tape. Then, you want to line up both ends of the strip and secure them together. Try to keep them as straight as possible. Then, push the LEDs into the blade. If you're having trouble getting them all the way up, you can pull out the diffusive film and kind of squish it to get them to go through and then slide it back in. Once they're in, plug the USB from the LEDs into the power bank, put the power bank into the hilt, put the blade in the hilt, and take a flat-ended bolt that won't damage the blade and use it to secure the blade on. And activate. Now, if you want a more interesting hilt design, you can 3D print it. But 3D printers cost hundreds of dollars, so why are they in a video about budget sabers? Well, a lot of you might be able to access a 3D printer you don't own. Maybe from your library, or from your school, or from our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a manufacturing company that can 3D print or CNC just about anything you want to build. And as you may have guessed from their name, they also manufacture PCBs, like this game controller PCB that I designed and they printed for like $12. So if you go to PCBWay.com, you can get a few different types of PCBs. You can get them assembled, you can get something CNC machined, you can get 3D prints, and the prices are surprisingly good. Click the first link in the description to make it happen. All right, so the final $60 build we've all been waiting for. At this price point, we can finally build a lightsaber that can change to any color by using some more advanced LEDs like these and controlling them with an Arduino board. And because they're more advanced, we can actually have them do cool animations, like the drawing out and sucking in animations that make the lightsabers look like they're extendable. Now, this will require a bit more work, which is why I put together a full tutorial right here, but I guarantee it is worth it. These lightsabers are absolutely amazing, as you can see from the footage right here. All right, those are your five options. I expect to see some builds from you guys in the Discord server very soon. And until next time, 